In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 1 from experience 12. Test the claim that the proportion of people who own cats is significantly different than 50% at the 0 0.1 significance level. From the first statement, we know that we are testing the proportion, so our hypothesis should use the letter P for proportion. This narrows it down to the second, third, and fourth choices. They all feature the 50% mentioned. I want to remember that when it says is significantly different than, this corresponds to not equal to. There's no indication that the alternative should be less than or greater than. Since we have a not equal to symbol, we choose the two-tailed test. To find the p-value, we use technology. Using the graphing calculator, hit stat, tests. For proportions, we use one prop z test. p sub 0 is the number that shows up in the hypothesis statements. Here we don't have the value of x. The sample data indicates that 46% of the 800 people own cats. This is 368 individuals. And the sample size was 800. The alternative hypothesis test is using a not equal to sign, and we can calculate there. The p-value is the second variable given. The p with the little hat on top is the sample proportion, 46%. To do that, two decimal places, we would have 0 0.02. Now, the p-value test approach has you compare the p-value with the significance level, sometimes denoted with the lowercase Greek letter alpha. If p is less than alpha, then we reject the null hypothesis. You can see in this situation, the p-value is less than alpha, which is 0 0.1. So we would reject the null hypothesis. The p-value can also be calculated with Excel. Just editing this document here, uh, put in the eight hundred. Oh, oh, I just put in here forty-six percent. I don't want to mess that calculation up. There we go. And this value changes. It's only 0.1. And again, we have the two-tailed test, so that our p-value is calculated right here. We do the same comparison. <coughs> 